Hey, this is Kathy. Welcome back to another edition of Ditch and Switch. Uh, today I will be reviewing. Uh, today I will be reviewing uh, seventh generation liquid dish soap. Yes, exciting, right? Okay, so without further ado, here's my review. <laughs> That is about a normal squirt for me. So I'll just take, oh, I don't know. This This is how it bubbles anyways. Okay. Yeah. My helper here, my assistant, helping. So I don't have a whole lot of dishes to do right now, but um, it is currently three o'clock. Okay. So I guess this will kind of just be um, how long the suds last for. Just be a little demonstration. Right there. So it is 3 p.m. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to a full sink here um, of water, and I used the hottest water that I have. <laughs> it's on max heat, so this water should last the duration of supper. Um, not the duration of supper, but you know, it should last uh, for the supper dishes as well as if this just midday dishes. Um, so yeah, I will check in with this. I will check in with this sink full of water later. So as you just saw, I only had a few dishes to do, um, like from the morning and afternoon dish time. So this is the sink. It's still full of bubbles. Like I said, I only did this many dishes. Um, but I'll just show you. I mean, this is a plastic bowl, but it's clean. I have to do no extra scrubbing than any other dish soap I've ever used. Um, yeah, I really like this dish soap, so I will check back. By the way, it is 3.30, so this is after 30 minutes of time gone by. The bubbles are still about the same. Um, yeah, I will check back with the bubbles later. So here are my hands. I don't know if you can see that they are not dried out. Yes, I have some dry spots like up on the tip of my thumb. But, um, where's the camera? But, um, that's, I have that anyways. Plus I was washing in fairly hot water. But I have no, like, sometimes I get, get, um, like little cuts around here when I wash dishes or on my other side which I don't have um, so overall this dish detergent is pretty easy on the hands in my opinion like I said in the winter I often wear gloves also I just haven't this winter I don't know why but my hands are fine and my knuckles used to sometimes get cracks too but nothing and I've been using this dish soap probably for two weeks now at least so yeah, in case you're wondering. So this is 4.15. The bubbles have dwindled a little bit, 
but still lots there. I haven't washed any more dishes, so this water is just sitting here. Sorry about the background noise. My kids are home from school and are not very quiet, even when asked. So yeah, this is an hour later. Okay, so I have finished my dishes for the night, most of them anyways. It is 5.15, so this water has been in here for two hours and 15 minutes. Um, there's my pile of dishes. It looks disgusting because I did, I rinsed out milk containers and I had pancake batter uh, mixed. Uh, yeah, I, I had pancake batter uh, to wash out of a blender and also a um, frying pan. So there's still some bubbles hanging on in there. Did pretty good. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't last too much longer than that. Obviously, I wouldn't wash anything else in here because it's kind of gross. But just wanted to give you the update of the final project, uh, of the final uh, look. So there it is. And my pile of dishes. Yeah. There it is. So it does a pretty good job. Hey, so that was the cleaning power of the seventh generation liquid dish soap in action. Um, if you couldn't tell, I really like this uh, dish soap. Uh, the ingredients are pretty good. There's a couple that are, you know, leave something to be desired, the preservatives, but other than that, they're generally natural ingredients. Um, it cleans really well, which is important. Um, you saw my hands, it doesn't dry out hands crazy, you know, just normal or even less irritating than other dish soaps. Um, uh, um, yeah, I already said it cleans well. Um, the smell is nice, I don't even really notice it to be honest with you, so if you don't like a very strong scented dish soap, this one's for you because it definitely isn't. Um, yeah, it's just a really good dish soap. And I really like the company, uh, Seventh Generation, what they're doing they're for their social uh, their social change um, initiatives. Uh, that really seems like they actually care about the environment and the people that live in it. So that's really cool too. I like supporting um, companies with those values. And also it's reasonably priced I mean I got it on sale I think it was three bucks three something I think it retails for three fifty ish four dollars which is pretty good I mean uh, in my experience it goes on sale a lot at least at the grocery store that I get it from and that's another thing it's available at grocery stores it's no you don't have to go to a specialty store to find this it's available widely uh, so that's awesome and you just recycle it when you're done when the bottles empty empty it out and you're done throw it in the recycling box bada boom bada bing so yeah I really like this dish soap I'm gonna keep using it and keep buying it until I find something else that I want to try um, yeah so I have a more in-depth review on my website that I'll link down below so what I switch to this dish soap absolutely it's I'm actually going to already. It beats any other dish soap that I've ever tried. Um, yeah, I'm switching. I'm a believer. So definitely switch to this from your Dawn or Palm Olive or whatever you might be using. I mean, it doesn't, first of all, it's clear, which I like. It doesn't have a weird blue or green color to it, which is I always found a little bit off-putting. And the smell is awesome and it cleans well. And it's gentle on your hands. You know, need I see more? All right, just try it. All right, we'll see you on the next one.